Hey guys, this is Gutters, and welcome back to another episode of Survival or Done. We are back here in Minecraft Plus, and we are making our um, train station today. Well, I've already started, as I mentioned in the previous episode. I set up a test area over here to show you exactly how we can make a train station and set various destinations. So let's go to where I'm making it, and I'll quickly catch you guys up. Okay, so... um. This is a door that will go onto a balcony, so pretty much the same as this, so that no mobs can drop in on top and come chow us. So um, this will be the wall, so this needs to close up here, okay? So this will close and then the railroad will go here, start going down here, and then we'll make a turn and then we go into the water and down the water. So if you wanted to know how you can go on in water, you can place sand, place glass around the sand, and then you just break the sand, and that's it. Then you have it. So I need to do that on camp now, so I wanted to show you guys that. So what I did is I used um, normal stone for, uh, what do you call it, for the, the, the foundation basically, and then the sand just next to the glass or directly underneath the glass everywhere okay so yeah, let me quickly clear this out and I'll show you how the rest looks okay quickly need to drop off some of the sand and stuff so let me quickly show you guys so um, as I was just showing actually um, so the railroad will continue down here and I wanted to take it straight down, but if we go into the map, where are we now? Right here. Uh, you see we're on the edge of the chunk. So I do not want really want to come here because I want, as I said in a previous episode, I want to use the chunk or the spot loaders. So I want to be in the middle of the chunk so that we can load the chunk itself. Okay, so I'm just coming to the right a bit. And then from here on, we continue down. And over here is another staircase, so I'll get into that in a second. So this one will continue down and down. Can fill this up. And then over here, actually I went over the, with this one, I came to here. Because this was the original level. But at the spawner, or at the um, XP farm, we need to go one higher, so I stopped it here. And I'm clearing out a 3x3 three three for a reason. Okay, we need to clear out this. Okay, and as I said, this was the original depth. And we also continued this way with the original depth. But, um, again, if we open the map, you'll see... Just follow, why don't you follow? If we go here, we are again on the edge of the chunk. So just brought it in a little bit. So we'll have a railroad track running basically right here. Okay, so what I usually like to do, why I make it like this, is I usually, when I have the um, speed boosters in, I have a torch on the right hand side and a redstone torch on the left hand side. So usually when I go caving, I put the torches to my right hand side so that I know which way I'm going deeper and which way I'm coming out of. So that's basically the same principle. So once I've set up the whole railroad system, I'll remove these torches because they won't be necessary then. And I'll obviously fill up this hole because I don't want that next to it. Okay, so uh, now let's go back here. There's a lot of mobs they do right inside. Can you see that on the map? It's because we lit up most of the um, caves. Now they don't have anywhere to spawn. Okay, so um, this is why I say this is deeper. This is on level. So we can stop the, the, the cart right here. And then we can do our XP farming and all that. 
can do our leveling, etc. So, oh, I didn't show you guys before. We didn't grow anything, everything. So let's do that now. There we go. It goes into the hoppers at the back, and here we go. So this um, farm we set up in the previous episode. So that's kind of cool. So I'll close off this face. Remove this button. Close up this face. So you wouldn't even see it. Okay, this is just a stair, so this will be removed. And that's it. So that will be in the background running as we need it. Oh, and we can close up this as well. Maybe close up this whole part or something. We'll see. Okay, so now for that other staircase next to the one we just came down off of. I'm going to pick this up because we'll have to work out what is going where and how. Okay, so that other staircase, that's the main one. The other staircase comes down here. So this will be, let's call it the wiring conduit. Because this is where we're going to let all the redstone run down. So we'll have it running down here. Okay, and also what we're going to do. So because it's not just going to be one signal running down here. We'll also have a second second sig line for signal, or we'll go deeper or something. We'll see how that works. So that we can send two signals depending on how many signals we need, or we can even make this wider and have multiple lines of signals. And we can also have a signal down here. And again, on top. So, but that's way down the line when we have more stops along the way. I think I'm already going to use two of two lines or three lines maybe. I'm not sure. We'll see for the um, switches on the other side. So this will run up. And this is where the original staircase is. The main staircase. I just made a port so that I can travel between them. Uh, this is actually going to be fun. I need to make a plan. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I should just make a straight staircase. That might actually work out better. Almost went out too deep. But I came to this spot so that I know that's where you return. That's where the car turns to the left to go into the water. And up here, below here, I still need to clear out this area, but I see my axe is in a red, so I didn't want to do it before. Okay. And that area that I want to clear is below here. So that's going to be for the wires and the logic, etc., for the routing. So let me show you how we're going to set that up. So here's enough space for a lot of torches. Ah, oh, not torches, destinations. How did I work that out? Oh, yes, the card comes here. So the this one comes here with the button, which I don't have right there. And this will go down. Don't worry about these other things. We'll get to that in the next episode, I believe. Anyway, so we can't get these signals left and right next to each other, but we can get them top and bottom from each other. So let me show you how that will work out. Okay, so those switches are there, 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 and there. Okay. Right, so if we switch off this one, only the middle one will switch off. Okay, switch it on, off, on. Okay, so now how you um, use that for your ability. I think let's use this side. I think it's easier, going to be easier. Okay. So, first of all, this one is easy. So you just put the dust on the ground and you can get your signal. And switching the middle one on and off, <coughs> excuse me, doesn't affect that line at all. Okay. Then the middle line is also easy. This one, 
you put it right against this torch, the bottom torch. I know it looked, sounds not right, but it works. <laughs> so like that. Okay, so both is on. Let's switch off the middle one. Middle line is dead. Bottom line is still on. Let's switch off the bottom line. Both are off. Let's switch back on the middle line. Only middle line is on. Bottom line still off. So now we can route this wherever we want to. So that's why I want to clear out this area below here and below here so that we can, because it's going to be quite difficult. Oh, and by the way, oh, down here is the opus for the drop, the mob drop. And coincidentally, the mob drop is behind here. There we go. So I wanted to make it a bit deeper. That's why this wall is cobblestone. I thought I can go a bit deeper. But it turns out I can't. Anyway, okay, and so for the top line, uh, it's also easy. You place it against the top line. But now this won't work, right? Because this signal doesn't send a signal into this block. That's why we can do that. I have this block against this torch because it doesn't affect this block in front of it. Only when you send a signal into a block like that, into now the signal goes into that block. Or if we use a repeater going into that block, it will affect the block in front of it. So that's why this is safe. Okay, but now you're going to ask me, how do I get this signal? Remember we did it in the spawner with the block on top. This will power this block, giving a signal next to it. So this doesn't power this block at all. You have to have it on the ground and have an open space with a redstone dust. And then it will power or give a, start giving a signal. So this way, um, so we can't really see. Okay, this way we can see all three lines, okay. So that's the top, middle, and the bottom, okay. So let's switch off all three. Okay, no one is lit. Okay, let's just do one at a time. So do you see no other one is affected? Middle, only middle is affected. This should actually send a signal into this. Oh no, it won't. Never mind. Top one will only affect the top one. So you can have three different signals right on top of each other like that. But unfortunately you can't have it this um, right here next to each other because you know what? Maybe we can. Maybe we can. If we have a redstone torch. Um, there, there, and there. So in place of going, starting off on the ground, we go like this. Okay, I know that to connect. But if we send this, those two won't connect. Okay, you see? Um, so let's see. This will have exact same effect. Oh, that one. Oh, how are we going to get that signal? Because this signal comes from the one there. Okay, no, this won't work. Nope, just wondered maybe we can get more signals in. But alas, that won't work. Okay, but that doesn't matter. This was only for... Um, for, a, for an example, how we're going to use that. So, um, we are not going to, at the end of the day, going to use levers. We are going to use switch, um, just buttons. And there's going to be signs next to it saying press this button and you go there. So at the moment, we're going to um, have an on or a off. So either you're going there or you're not going there. Okay. So when you back, you switch it off. Unfortunately, it's a little bit manual. But I have plans on making it automatic. Let me quickly sleep. Okay, so that's enough rambling. Let's start making our railroad. Okay, so the initial one is usually two. 
if you usually make it too long, then before the cart gets over there, it will switch off and then the cart will break. So don't make the initial one too long. I think two or three is fine. Um, okay, so where's the normal track? Comes here. Let's go this way. Okay, now we need to get power because when we return, we need to get power to get up the stairs. Okay, so let's start by removing that, putting that there. Um, I think that might be good enough. Oh wait, let's remove this and this one. Because here's also a bit of a steep hill. Um, so let's remove this and this. So what we're doing here is I'm placing a resin torch right there because that's giving this block power which will give this power. Okay, good. Okay. Three is fine. You have to use this as a turn, as I mentioned earlier. And let's put a torch here. Okay, that will power that block. And that will help it going up. So let's put that there. Okay, so let's do the same. Oh. Oh dear. Don't want to waste stone. But it's okay. Okay, three, that should be fine. Okay, let's put another one. And over here, I'm not going to put one, but we'll put one here. Two, three, four blocks. I think that should be fine. Okay. Now what we can do, we can just remove this one. We'll have the exact same effect. Put that there. Um, give it a bit more speed. Oh, wow, this is going to be fun. So we'll need to at least... Oh, oh wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I'll have to make plan for that. But not this time, because we're not going to... Use that road, but we are going to use that road. So let's break this block. Put it there. Rail the back. And this can have normal rails. Okay. You'll have enough. <coughs> excuse me. And you should have enough power. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Should have enough power for this turn. And then we'll need to make a plan here again. Put you there, reach them there. Like that. That. Ah, while we're at it. Okay. So let's see how far we can go. Oh, I think I'm going to need to use all the power drills for these climbs. Oh, you see, now it broke. Okay, so let's put one down here. Oh no, wait. 
Let's put it here. That should fit everything. Put you there, there, there. Okay. Because I want to catch that side and then I need to push it all the way up. Okay. The whole thing has power. Okay. Now we can go one, two, three, four, five about. There's a slime already. They spawn quite a bit now that I'm here. Okay, so let me quickly finish this. We're running out of time. And let me work this out. You see what I do with the torches and so on. <coughs> and um, then I'll show you at the end how it looks. And we'll take it for a spin. I just realized I made a huge mistake. I meant that way I just showed over torches underneath. I went, meant to do that only here. Not over here as well. Since we're going to do the right left thing. So, um, I need to now find all those torches that I just placed um, somewhere around here. So, I think the easiest way is to see this way. See, now you see this is still lit. So, that means it should be somewhere around here. There we go. <laughs> just got it. Okay, so we'll place this like that. We'll see where we place this. I think it was here by the iron. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, okay. Now we should be good. Okay, so... Um, yeah, we'll see... I'll see where, what the light sources are. And that's where I'm going to... Place the... Um, different torches. Okay, so let me figure that out. So I just wanted to make that correction. Okay, I think I've finished now. I... Um, I closed up this part and okay let's see actually if this button still works sounds like it yep there I go okay so that's awesome okay so I put the um, railroad rear in place of there I think it would be it just would look better right here maybe I don't know this I think we had enough now that's our back door up to where the zombies fall up there and I think we're good right yes so um, let me show you okay no let's go from the other side so this is um, powered down so that it breaks us when we come in I just want to maybe speed it up a bit Otherwise, we usually stop at the first one if you don't have enough speed coming into it. Okay, so as I said, okay, um, I was right the first time in the previous episode. It's five and then one, not ten and then one. It's five because otherwise this light um, doesn't push all the way. Okay, why is that? Oh, of course we have that one. And this one. See, so it's better if we have every fifth block or six blocks so there's five normal rails the sixth one is that and so on so i'll still close up this but i'll do that off cam and i need to empty the um this hallway for the um for the signals for the switching but at this moment we only worry about straight switching or straight road i don't mind that So that we can have more for enchanting. Okay. Need to cook up a lot more of this stone. So you anyway, um, we have this going up here. Putting the torches next to each other in place of underneath. So if we take this one away, I took away the one that was underneath. So to keep to our pattern of every fifth block. You're in the wrong place. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's fine. I almost thought we could have missed a step there. 
and then there's nothing over here we'll keep that like that just need to close that up mine everything out so it's um, stone we need to replace this with stone as well and this goes up and up and up you can also replace this with a resin torches then it will actually power that as well just fyi but it won't give you light so they might be mob spawning and it's dark okay so um we have a merchant over here Okay, so let's take it for a ride. So get in and presto. Okay, maybe put some pictures along the way for the view. I might can actually come in on the other side, but I think we have the water there, right? Almost. Now we can actually come in this side. We didn't have to come take that twist over there. But then the slime will be in the way, I think. Except if we go over the slime, maybe. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so let's go back. So to see if the uh, steep climb is okay. So the only thing I worry about is the climbs usually. But you don't have to have it this straight. I think you can have three and then two, three and two, or something like that. I'll replace the metal ones, so that way we'll save on the power rails. You see, look at that. So because we don't have enough speed coming in, but you can brace it a little bit forward. Okay, so um, off cam, I am going to replace all the cobblestone and every ugly thing with smooth stone and i don't think we'll use a signal just yet because in the next episode i need to let's close this um we need to do something in the train station um something very interesting and i also will make this balcony in the next episode so um yeah maybe i'll make it a stone balcony and walkway or our roof sorry but yes for now let's call it an episode we're over time already uh, having fun with that so we have a nice view of the railroad going down into the underground yeah we can maybe call it our underground because it goes into the underground our train station going underground and once we have more spots we can maybe um or not maybe then we will set up the splits and so on so down there where it turns right i think that will be the first split we'll go left to our mining site because it's down there then we don't need to use that and then we're always safe okay but for now let's call it episode once again thank you for joining me guys hope you enjoyed this build of a train station or railroad or underground station or whatever we want to call it so if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one cheers